Hey everyone, welcome back to Ormsby Farm. My name is Casey. I am over in the garden right now and we are doing some of our fertilizing um, uh, for the week. And I wanted to sit down and talk about um, something that actually has been a very popular video on my channel. And that is farming and homesteading grants. Uh, um, I did one, gosh, probably about a year ago right here, I'll leave the link to it. Thank you so much for your, those who uh, brought it over 17,000 views. So I wanted to kind of do a follow-up and talk about grants, talk about starting a homestead business because yes, it is a business and it should pay, your stuff that you do on your land should pay back your business. Huh? Um, and talk about where you can find these grants. If that is something that interests you, I hope that you will subscribe and hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up. Um, and I will start putting out more kind of videos on the grant process on um, making your homestead um, something that pays you as a small business owner. So if that's something that interests you, I'm going to roll this quick intro and we'll be back to sit down and chat. So let's talk about grants, farming loans, um, making your homestead debt free. Because that truly is the um, probably top reason that a lot of us homesteaders do homestead, is we want to live a simple debt free life. Um, but as we all know, things cost money and things cost a lot of money, especially homesteading equipment. Um, we've been here on our homestead about a little over a year um, and getting it to where it is a workable homestead or a workable farm costs money. Yeah? And there are tons and tons of small grants out there. Um, first, I want to talk about there are a lot of websites you can go to. I'm going to leave them all in the description box below. Um, you'll want to wait until the end of this video because I'm going to give one really solid tip that I've used um, for the grant getting process because it is a process y'all. Um, it's not super easy. There's a lot of uh, different um, paperwork and licensing you have to put into your farm to turn it into a business to then receive these grants. Um, but again, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of USDA grants, agricultural grants, um, there are grants from private lenders um, that want to see the um, farming community thrive. Um, there's grants.gov. There's the USDA websites. Um, definitely check the regulations in your state. We're here in the Southeast Georgia, um, and a lot of the regulations are a lot tougher than different places in the United States. Um, now, I've gotten this a lot in the comments and in emails. I don't know too much about um, the regulations and stuff outside of the United States, um, such as the United Kingdom or Canada. Um, you would definitely need to do some research on that and um, look into what the government is offering in your area. Here in ours, the main big one that everybody, when they think farming, when they think um, government grants is the USDA process. Huh? Um, now, USDA is a process. Huh? One thing is you have to get USDA certified. Huh? Um, and it's a lot, y'all. It's just not like you can email them and say, hey, I decided I want to be USDA organic. Could you come and check me out? It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of soil testing. It's a lot of testing of your land. Um, so don't go into it thinking it's going to be a cakewalk because it's not. Duh. But grants is a great way um, to finance some of the bigger things such as tractors. Um, maybe it is um, a hoop coop that you want to put onto your farm. Huh? There are different grants and different amounts that can help you with this process. Um, now, I am also a host on a podcast called Round the Hay Bale. And we talk a lot about this stuff, a lot about turning your homestead into a business because 
pretty much that's what it is. Uh, to live that debt-free lifestyle, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, a lot of planning, a lot of like prep of where everything should go and how much you need to make to make this in, meet that in. It's a lot of math, and y'all know I ain't with math. Um, but definitely, I always have a link down below, but I'm gonna put the QR code right here. Go check it out. We have our fourth season coming out. Um, it's and we're gonna touch on a lot of these topics that I'm talking today more in depth. Um, one thing that also is when you Google agriculture or farming grants is farming loans. And I think a lot of people get a little, oh, I don't know if I want to do a loan, especially in the times and blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. But it is a easier way for you to finance certain things on your homestead. And let's be honest, some of these things that we're wanting to finance, you do need. Um, now we've done a year and a half without a tractor, but it's been a struggle bus. Um, it would make things easier. We could do larger projects if we had a tractor. Now, a lot of the farming grants have very low interest rates, um, which really helps you in paying the loan back. When you're going into thinking of taking out a loan on your farm, you need to one, think of a couple different scenarios, okay? Let's say you're wanting a tractor. Okay, what is the tractor going to be used for? And let's say it's your pumpkin patch, let's say it's your orchard, and let's say it's your garden. Those are the three areas that you're wanting to till, jump one. Now, how much money can you make in year one off of those three spots to then pay back on this tractor? Because you don't want to go ahead and start, you know, the loan process for a tractor and then not really till or use the tractor for the first year. It wouldn't make too much sense. So you need to kind of go in with like a business plan. And really, a lot of the times with the farming loans and even the farming grants, they're wanting to see a business plan from you anyways. It doesn't need to be super in-depth. It doesn't need to be super crazy and amazing. It just needs to kind of lay out what you're planning to do with this money and how you see your return coming back in. So if you know that your pumpkin patch, let's say, makes you $1,000 the first year, okay? We're talking about how much can you pay back on that tractor in the first year. Really, you want to do it within the first three years of, of ha leasing or um, paying a loan on that equipment is you want to pay it back within the first three years to get yourself out of debt and then going forward, you can make a pro profit. Um, tractors is, is one of the big ones and they're expensive, huh? um, but I always kind of like watch my words before I say this because you know, tilling and all that kind of stuff is very controversial. Um, didn't know that, but it is. Um, but tilling and tractors, I believe elevate your farm and elevate your production or growth of your um, pumpkin patch, orchard, garden, whatever it is. Huh? Um, and also making money off of that tractor such as, let's say Billy Bob next door really needs his garden tilled, just moved there, doesn't have a tractor, you can then charge using your tractor and help your neighbor out. That is just money that is going back into paying off that loan for said equipment. Doesn't have to be a tractor, I just keep throwing that one out there. Um, when you're thinking of business plans, and again, we'll go in more depth with um, with our podcast talking about this kind of stuff, but at the beginning of the year, you want to kind of plan out your um, farm, homesteads, income for the year, such as farmer's markets, when your eggs are going to be high produced, if you sell your eggs, um, if you have a dairy cow, when are they in milk? When can you sell your milk or cream or turn it into butter or turn it into cheese? Same thing for goats. Um, when is your garden in high bloom? Um, what about your orchard? Pumpkin patch, do you sell Christmas trees? That kind of stuff, you can lay it out so you know month by month 
what your income is going to be or estimated income. Um, when you're thinking of estimated income, I always like to do an ROI, which is starting to get a little woo woo high on the words, but it's basically your return of interest. So if you put $100 into um, your garden, say for trellising, say for garden uh, ground cover, um, say for your seeds, or if you buy already seedlings from other farmers, um, you really want to do a ROI on that $100. I like to double if I'm getting frisky or if it's a nice year, tripling would be great. Um, but that's just me. But all of that kind of stuff, if you're interested in learning more about how do you plan out your ROIs, how do you plan out your seasons of homesteading and farming, let me know in the description box. Me and the girls on the podcast have been talking about doing classes on Homesteading 101 um, grants, writing grants, which is also a big thing. Learning how to write a grant is very, very important. Um, learning how to write out a loan paperwork, um, making sure that you are planning for the year and what you need to make money on your homestead to be, to be self-sustainable. So again, leave it in the comment if you're interested in those kind of videos or if you would be interested in us giving classes here on Facebook or on YouTube. Um, let us know. And thank you again for tuning into this video. Again, I'm going to leave the very first one that I talked about, which goes in more depth on the website, however, to find everything, um, where to click on, what times to look for grants, because that's a thing. Um, so click on that. Um, my last, probably biggest tip that I was given is... Find your niche on homesteading, and this is pertaining to grants, and see if you can't turn that niche into a non-for-profit. Non-for-profits get grants a lot easier than a standard run-of-the-mill for-profit business. Um, so that is a tip. If you stayed to the end, you got it. Um, but thanks for watching this video, y'all. Make sure you are liking and subscribing to my channel and go ahead and press that bell icon so you know that anytime new content drops to the channel. Um, I'm on all social medias. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. Feel free to DM me if you have any questions, um, if you have any concerns, if you know good grant sites. DM me and I will share them in the description box below. But y'all, thanks for tuning into the video and be blessed. I'm coming home.